In this industrial estate in the heart of Dubai, there's a dynamic technology with the potential to revolutionize the way the city sources its food. Badia Farms is the first commercial indoor vertical farm in the region. Using hydroponics technology, it's producing 27 varieties of leafy greens without the need for soil, sunlight, and chemicals. We use uh, LEDs. These LEDs are special LEDs to mimic the sun. We also use a lot of sensors, climate control systems, to regulate these conditions. Uh, lastly, we've got the fertigation system, uh, which I like to refer to as the brain, and that regulates the irrigation, the timing, the scheduling, and the different nutrients for the plants. Dubai's quickly becoming a hotspot for this phenomenon. Emirates Airline is about to start building the world's largest vertical farm at Dubai World Central Airport. When it opens next year, it plans to produce 6,000 pounds of leafy greens per day for its catering department. In the backyard of this building, the Ministry of Climate Change and Environment, you'll find two acres of the land the minister has set aside for 12 vertical farms. The beauty of the uh, Badia Farm, the Emirates uh, airline announcements, our announcements, opened the, eye, uh, the eyes of the, our um, business people and investors to the topic. And you cannot imagine the, the, the interest which we received after those announcements, that many business people are interested in, in, uh, in exploring uh, uh, the idea. They even uh, trying to bring international partners on board and international technologies to the country, and they're asking us to provide more and more lands. Dubai has big ambitions. With its arid climate, it's forced to import 90% of its food. But this technology has the potential to allow Dubai to enter crop production in a major way. The minister says the ultimate aim is to begin exporting home-produced crops throughout the region. We're going to do it very soon. And uh, we're, again, we'll, uh, the, the distinguished thing of our crops is going to be the quality. And uh, we will not only export the, the, uh, the products, we'll export the technology as well, after being applying it here in the UAE. Back in Badia Farms, they're pushing ahead with plans to double in size over the next few weeks and launch a similar vertical farm in neighboring Saudi Arabia. Samuel Burke, CNN.